I have come to the ski resort of Verbier in Switzerland, home to the Roran Smith Ski Academy. I've caught up with Roran to talk about the academy and I've, I'm going to ask him, you know, how it's been for him and also his team and what he thinks for the rest of the season and the future going forward. Hey Rob, it's great to have you over in Verbier again. Um, and it just seems so long now since we had the, the shows in the UK and everything going on there. But we, uh, we've started the season really strong. It's been a really interesting couple of years, sort of learning as you go how to cope or deal with COVID and Brexit, you know, the perfect storm putting those two together. Um, but we've had, a, we've had an extraordinary start to the season. We're, we're, we're calculating approximately that we're turn, well, we're not managing to cope with the demand. We're, we're, there's about 30% of people that can't get on courses each week. And we've got huge waiting lists for courses on, you know, if there's last minute cancellations. Um, so from a business point of view, we're very, very lucky. Um, we can't complain at all. It was very interesting from us, not just from a, a consumer point of view, but also our team. Um, we're probably short of three people, mainly caused by not being able to get some of our team work permits, you know, so that at the moment there isn't a, an agreement in place because of Brexit. Um, so it's that part of it's been really tough. All of us have worked flat out, hardly any days off, um, which is harsh. So we're hoping that things start to get a little bit better. We can get a bit of time out of these ski boots because our feet are not in great shape at the moment uh, without a day off. But, um, but it's good. It's like uh, the atmosphere and the enthusiasm of people is is awesome everyone's so desperate to get back skiing again um you know we've got quite a lot going on we've got a few gap year courses with iaz um every week there's the uh, the academy with six max or four max groups and every week at the moment almost every week we've got a super group running um conditions wise we've had sort of three significant snowfalls since the start of the season We've had a, a bit of a drought the last two weeks, but the pieces have remained in good condition. Uh, but the snow's coming in now uh, for the next couple of days, and I think that's going to set up a nice bit of off-piste. I don't think it's going to be huge levels of snow, uh, but it'll give people that little bit of powder under the foot that everyone loves to, to feel. A lot of us in the team, we've got quite a high number of um, Swiss Level 4 uh, you know, a Brevet um, instructors, which allows us to go outside of itinerary runs. It allows us to go off piece. Um, so we use quite often slopes like Col de Mouche, if it's safe, and we, we've checked it. Uh, the top of Mont 4 and the steep side is really good at the moment. Hey, Mont Gelais is like a real challenge for a lot of people. It's got a very steep gradient off of the lift, and that, that's a lot, of, uh, a lot of people sort of ticking the box to say they achieved something. We've, we've got Jean Stian and we've got Tortan. I mean, they're our regular go-tos, uh, which are itinerary runs. Um, but yeah, there is that desire for people. You know, I think a lot of people have not been spending the money they normally would do on ski equipment. So they've rocked up with all their new skis and the bindings and everything, um, hopefully, uh, to have that adventure on their, on their new free ride kit. So that's the other thing a lot of people wanted to put to test their new equipment. So Roran, what's, tell us what's new in Verbia for this season. Well, new in Verbia for this season, I don't know if you can see this lift behind me, it's the new Medran to Runette lift. Um, it's super high speed and it's got 10 seats inside it uh, and it makes the journey from Medran to Runette five minutes instead of maybe 10. Uh, it's a game changer for the number of people in it um, and Tully Verbier put in some escalators which everyone has loved. So if you're coming to Verbier, if you're going to pick five things you must do, one of them is to get up to the top. Even if your skiing level isn't good enough to ski down the Mont 4, it's worth a journey because of the incredible views. Um, one side you can see the Matterhorn over in Zermatt, Chavinia. And on the other side, you look around and you can see Chamonix Mont Blanc. And it's just phenomenal. You'd be up there all day taking photos on your, on your phone for sure. Another great thing in Verbier is the, the accessibility to ski Mont Gelais. If you're a free ride skier or an aspiring one, you've got one of the most steepest front face access runs off the lift. Uh, and that is a, a gem for a lot of skiers that want to get tested. The other side of Verbier is its classic itineraries. So Tortan, you know, if your level is not enough to get up Mont Gelais, Tortan is your classic of piste itinerary experience. People love that. If you're venturing down into town, um, the guys that really need to be uh, given a round of applause is the Faraday for getting their Apre ski going again and doing it in a safe way. They've been really strict with the 2G+, Plus, the checking on the doors, the wristbands, and it's allowed everybody to have that little bit of fun and get in the atmosphere back into Verbier again. If you're a skier that hasn't quite mastered off-piste skiing yet and you love cruising down the pistes, 
the amount of work that these guys do on their main piece. If you get up early in the morning and you want to carve and you want to feel like what a racer feels like going around turns, I've never seen the slopes in such good condition as I have this season. Uh, so, you know, big round of applause to Televerbia. They've kept everyone going, carving safely, um, even when we've lost snow for a couple of weeks. So if you're coming out to Verbio or thinking about it, try to get ahead of the game, book early because it's very, very busy this season. We'd like to thank everyone that's come out on our courses so far. Apologize to those that couldn't get on the courses because they were fully subscribed, but they're going on right till the end of April this season. If you need any help preparing for your winter trip this season, go on to inthesnow.com, look out for our tactics and technique new series which we made with those guys last season that will hopefully get you started um i want to also thank rob and all the in the snow crew for coming over here it's always a pleasure to have you guys in verbier hopefully we'll get to ski some turns together as well it's been brilliant here in verbier uh, skiing with roran and his uh, team out here snow conditions are now great i um, looking forward to getting down this uh, this mountain now <laughs>